Hey, uh, welcome to FCRB TV. I'm on the move here today, Saturday, the 15th of September. Um, Arsenal took care of business this morning against Newcastle. Uh, a tricky trip to uh, uh, Sir James Park. Um, uh, the guys look good today. The guys look good today, and it was uh, it was fitting that uh, the two goals came from two players that have been uh, under uh, under a lot of uh, uh, heavy criticism as of late. Uh, one one uh, in particular that I'm always after is uh, um, Granite Shaka. He uh, scores a superb, sublime free kick today to open the scoring. And, uh, and uh, Mesut Ozil, you know, capped it off, you know, collecting a rebound and slotting it past uh, the, uh, the magpie keeper to make it 2-0. Uh, to make it 2-0 at the time, the match ended 2-1 because we love to concede goals. But like I said in uh, a previous video, that uh, if Arsenal are going to win games this season, we're going to have to score more than the opposition like. We have to make sure. We cannot win a game 1-0. We cannot win a game 1-0. We're going to have to score at least two, three goals a game to give ourselves a chance of winning. Um, and I, I would say collectively the uh, performance today was very good. And, and it looks like, you know, the, the, the Unai Emery way is starting to um, take shape. And uh, the guys are getting more and more comfortable in what he's requesting. Uh, even before the goals that were scored by our lads today, I think that Granite Shack was having a good game. He wasn't really giving the ball away. wasn't making bad challenges. Um, granted, I feel like Newcastle gave us a lot of space to play after the first uh, flurry of attacks that they had, where they had those four um, four corners to no reply in the first like 18 minutes, something like that. They were all over us a little bit in that regard. Um, but aside from that, after that, I should say, after that, um, we kind of worked our worked ourselves to the game. And uh, started to, you know, took the game by the scruff of the neck and pretty much controlled it till the end. Um, I also want to say that um, um, you know it was Unai got it right in the in the, in the sense that uh, you know Lacazette got the start down the middle, pushed Aubameyang off to the left, and um, it's looking like that's what it's going to have to be from now on. You know, we've all been saying it that Lacazette got the start. Uh, he's got to start alongside. Um, um, Alongside uh, Obama Yang, and um, we got to get those two guys on the field at all times together. And uh, Ozil as well looked pretty good today before his goal. After his goal, he was running, trying to track, you know, trying to be more involved, uh, doing a lot of good things when he was on the ball. And, um, you know, got caught in possession a few times early on, but again, that was the early stage of the game. Um, it, it, it was a tricky game to play because. You know, we didn't want to allow Newcastle to gain any type of uh, momentum, confidence to really give us trouble. And uh, the, 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 the lads did well enough to, to fend them off for the majority of the game. Um, we're, looking, we're looking better. I'm, 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 I'm very pleased, very pleased, very happy with, um, um, you know, the, 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 the full efforts of all of our players. Um, Torreira came on. Um, he, they said he got injured in, during international duty with uh, Uruguay, and um, and uh, so that's why he did not get the start today. And uh, Gudozi, he uh, he did his calf for a little bit in the first half today. That's why he was, uh, you know, he, he came off or whatever. But uh, I think he would have come off regardless because Shaka was Shaka was having his way. I mean, the the tempo of this game today really suited Granite Shaka and that's why he was able to boss the game as he did. They said that he had to run the run of the park against England, the friendly during the international break. So I think that, you know, the tempo's gotta be just right for Granite Shaka to really do his thing. Um, so um, yeah, it's, it's a good result. We've gotta keep going now. Um, I would say that, uh, you know, it's looking more positive after this result. This is the, I would say this is the best result for us. This is a lot better than the Cardiff. And I think we're just going to keep getting better and better as the players get more and more comfortable with what Unai Emery, uh, you know, uh, is requesting of them. So that's, that's good news. I'm sure all the Gunners across the world are happy about the result today. The boys did play well. 
Um, I mean, uh, uh, check. Still not good with his feet out of the back, but well, I'm done talking about that because they're not going to make the change just yet. Um, and he didn't have to make a save to the 87th minute, and then they scored a header in, in, in injury time, so ended 2-1. to one. But um, I tell you, um, you know, if, if lads just continue to work hard, um, follow instructions, take care of the ball, Unai is a very good manager, and he will get us get us uh, where we where we want to be in time. Um, but you know, aside from that, um, those I was meaning to make a video earlier on in the week, but days got away from me. A lot of things happening, but uh, there are a lot of things happening in football that um, you know I really wanted to talk about. Um, don't know if I'll get get it all through in this video here, but uh, you know the, the the likes of their UEFA is looking to get uh, to create a third third uh, European competition and making the Champions League champions league winners only a true Champions League. So if that if, if that you know comes to fruition. That's going to be massive in England. Massive. Because imagine if that was taking place now. United's not in it. Liverpool's not in it. Uh, Tottenham's not in it. You know? It's going to be crazy if it's just the league winners. And also, think about how many champions have won the Champions League in recent years that were, that were in the competition and they were not domestic champions. Real Madrid, tons of them. Tons of those titles that they won, they were not the champion uh, of Spain. Barcelona uh, were the champions, and Atletico were the champions one year as well. So, yeah, so it's just, it's just crazy, you know, it's crazy. Uh, so that's one big thing. I think that um, I, I, I'm kind of all for it, you know, because that way, you know, my Arsenal, we, you know, if we don't win I mean, now, Champions League will be a foregone conclusion, like in the sense that um, we will not be going. Because to win the league, we've got a long ways to go to win the league. So scrapping for fourth, for third, that'll just be getting you Europa League or the Cup Winners' Cup, whatever, you know, things like that. But uh, also, um, what else took place? So there was a bust-up during the international break um, in the Irish camp with Roy Keane and Ari Arta and... Uh, um, and apparently somebody else did something on WhatsApp, cursing somebody else out. Ireland needs to get it together. They need to pull it together. And the whole Declan Rice thing. So those are the things that are that were massive over the last two weeks after uh, after we beat Cardiff into where we are today. The whole Declan Rice thing uh, after playing in international friendly at the senior level for Ireland now all of a sudden feels he's English and wants to go to England. Um, so that's a big uh, talking point. And uh, uh, Kevin Kilbane, a uh, former Irish international, went off about it. And uh, I back him 100%. I think that, you know, once you've played for the shirt at the senior level, whether it's a competitive international or friendly, that should be it. That really should be it. You know, some others said that, you know, once you've played in the under-17 World Cup for your nation, that should be it as well. And I kind of don't mind that either because at 17, man, you don't know everything, but you have a good idea of what's going on. And if you've decided you're going to play an under-17 World Cup for a country, that's it. You're not going to play under-17, under-20, win things or just compete. And then all of a sudden, senior level, you want to change. Can't do that. I'm not with that at all. I think that's kind of crap. But... Um, I think Declan Rice is uh, is uh, being a chump about it. He um, he, 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 he he's kind of burned the bridge with a little bit. Some guys kind of feel a certain type of way, you know, if, if he is to return, uh, whether they like it, whether they admit it or not to the media, but they're gonna feel a certain type of way. I know that I would, um, and uh, you know, um, that's just crazy. And then going back to Roy Keane, the last thing, uh, Arta saying that he doesn't want to train and things like that. Roy Keane is so old school, so awesome. I wish he was my manager because I'd run through a wall for Roy Keane. Because Roy Keane's the type of manager that if you're balling out, he's not going to say anything to you. 
He's not going to be on your case. He's not going to, he won't even tell you good job. He'll just leave you alone to do what you're doing. You know, and if you're not doing your job, he's going to get on your ass and let you know you need to step your game up. And 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 the long, the long and short of it is this. After hearing what happened, right, people are like, you know, they don't really like what Roy was saying and things like that. But the bottom line is this. The footy, the, 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 the footballers today, they can't take a rollicking for anything. They don't want to hear nothing. They just want to show up, play, get their check, go home. That's all they want to do. They do not want to have to hear anything. And it's just like it's, it's, it's across the board. You see it everywhere. It's just the, the, the times that we're in. Back in the, That's why Fergie had to go. You know, he retired because if he was managing today, he'd have issues. That's why he let Pogba go in the first place. He's like, I'm not dealing with this. Get out. You know? Because for ballers today... They, 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 they think their feet don't touch the ground. You know, they think they're like, I don't know, special or something, you know. So Roy, Roy is the real deal, man. And um, um, Joe, don't mess around if Roy's your coach. Don't mess around. It's the same thing with Paulo Di Canio. It's the same thing with um, uh, Mourinho. It's the same thing with Mourinho. These guys don't want to hear nothing from the manager. They just want to show up, do what they want to do, and then and then go home and never hear anything from anyone. That's exactly what's going on out here. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. No fun, man. So that was happening there, and um, I guess I'm going to cover it all. <laughs> but um, also, as we all know, the UEFA Nations League started last week, and uh, I think it's kind of exciting, but there are definitely pros and cons to it all. Because, I mean, for example, Luke Shaw got injured in the game against Spain. Because if you're going to say that these games now internationally count towards something, um, the intensity level is going to pick up. And if you watched any of those games, if you watched any of those games, you would have seen that it was the, 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 the pace was a bit faster, you know? Spain, England was a little intense. Um, uh, uh, what else did I see? I saw Germany, uh, Germany, France was uh, was a little intense as well, more so than than you know the, the so-called friendlies. Um, and uh, so when you have that intensity, you know, intensified, um, dudes get injured and now they're lost to their club. So now the clubs are like, dude, you know, we pay these guys. They go off to UEFA Nations League, get injured, and then now we're we're SOL. It's, it's it's pretty bad, you know. It's pretty bad. So that's that's the situation at hand. I, I I like it, but as I said, there are pros and cons to it. It's pretty tough to have to um, how they're gonna manage that. I don't know how it's gonna continue on, but it was cool to see international games that were not the World Cup or the Euros, or Copa America, and uh, and I say Copa America because, you know, they're, they're in, in time, they, they want to, they're going to intensify their um, friendlies as well, the USA, um, Mexico friendly wasn't really a walk in the park, and, um, you know, uh, who else, uh, even the Brazil USA game, so, you know, the, the international friendlies, international fixtures now carry a bit more weight. So that makes it a whole lot more interesting, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that was it pretty much. I was meaning to get this out before the Arsenal game today and the uh, domestic fi uh, fixtures came back around. But busy week for me. But, you know, to sum it all up, you know, Arsenal did very well today. Uh, big, big clap up for uh, Granite Shaka and Mesut Ozil. They did a fantastic job, and um, hopefully they can continue to give us those type of performances. And we want to see them be able to do that type of work um, in bigger games. I, I, I did sleep on, on Newcastle. Thought they'd be a bit difficult, for sure. Um, but uh, as I said, um, as I said... Uh, you know, as I said, we um, we want to see them do that in bigger games. 
and uh, you know international uh, duty when you get called up and you play in friendlies on the senior team. That's it. You don't get to you don't get to uh, you don't get to pick anything else after that, and uh, you go from there. You know what I mean? You, you pick your team. There's no switching. You know, make up your mind. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. Um, I'm pretty pretty relaxed today because Arsenal won the game, scored two good goals, and uh, we're off and running. Yeah. So let me know what you think of all those things. The uh, UEFA UEFA Nations League, the whole international selection process, the whole the whole role at uh, at uh, in, at the Ireland camp with with uh, Kino and folks and. Um, and uh, yeah, just let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. FCRB TV. Holla at your boy. Ciao.